Welcome back to Coding with Kiskit Runtime. I'm your host, Nick Braun. In this episode, we start from the very beginning and show what you need to do to run your first Kiskit Runtime program. Much of this is similar to the other Kiskit install videos, so I'll try and note the differences for runtime. In particular, we will install Anaconda Python and create an environment to work in, install Kiskit and Kiskit Runtime, and save and load our runtime service credentials. We'll start by navigating to kiskit.org, everyone's favorite open source SDK for quantum computing. If you don't already have a Python version, we can go to Anaconda Python and download the appropriate version for our operating system. After following the install instructions, open up a prompt or Anaconda terminal. It should say base here to indicate the base environment. In order to keep things clean, we'll create a new environment in which we'll install Qiskit and Qiskit Runtime. We can do that like this. Conda create dash n for name. We'll call it Qiskit Runtime and use the latest version of Python 3.10. Proceed. And now we can activate our new environment by doing conda activate Qiskit Runtime. Now in this environment, we can install Qiskit and Qiskit Runtime. We'll start with Qiskit by doing pip install Qiskit. But I like to also install the visualization tools that are useful for working with Jupyter Notebooks. So I'll put visualization in square brackets. And if you're using a recent Mac OS version like I am, you might need to put that in single quotes. Similarly, we can install Qiskit Runtime with pip install qiskit-ibm runtime. Next, we'll make a separate IPython kernel so we know that we're executing in the environment we just created. python-m ipy kernel install dash dash user for everyone dash dash name for qiskit runtime dash dash display name his kit runtime. And just in case we want to use slideshow mode, we can also install Rise, which I like to use. And then we can start by opening a Jupyter Notebook. Create a new Jupyter Notebook and make sure you're using the right kernel by checking that Qiskit Runtime appears in the upper right corner. We can import the Qiskit Runtime service by doing from Qiskit IBM Runtime import Qiskit Runtime service. If we're getting started with Qiskit for the first time, we'll need to save our IBM credentials locally. Qiskit Runtime service dot save account We'll use the IBM Quantum channel, and then we navigate to IBM Quantum Services to retrieve our API token. Next, we want to load a backend that we can run quantum circuits on. We can do this with service equals Qiskit runtime service with parentheses, where it will pick the particular hub group project that we have access to. We can also make that explicit by specifying an instance, for example, ibmq slash open slash main. We'll load the service that everyone has access to. And then we can see what backends we have by doing service.backends and printing those. And this gives us a list of backends we can run on. We can also filter the backends by say, simulator equals false and min num qubits equals five. Now let's build a quantum circuit and run it on one of the backends. We'll start with our favorite bell circuit from Qiskit import quantum circuit. QC equals quantum circuit with two qubits. We do a Hadamard on the first one and a controlled knot between the first and second one, and then measure all. 
And then we can draw this. And we recognize this as the circuit that gives us our favorite bell state. And then we can run the bell state circuit using the sampler primitive from Kiskit IBM runtime import sampler. And then job equals sampler, session equals IBM logos dot run our quantum circuit. And then just as before, we can get a result by doing job dot result. Here now we see we have quasi distributions reported instead of counts, and they're on a scale of zero to one instead of the total number of shots observed. We can get our counts by doing job dot result dot quasi dists. And then if we want the binary result, we can do binary probabilities. Then if we'd like to plot our results, we can do from kiskit.visualization import plot histogram and plot those counts. We see evidence of entanglement due to the almost equal probabilities of measuring 0, 0, and 1, 1, where we're off from the 50% because of the noise in the actual system. While this shows the most familiar way to get started with Qiskit Runtime, it offers no additional layers of abstraction that we can build onto scale quantum programs. In the following video, we introduce the primitives, which provide just this abstraction. In this video, we installed Python, Qiskit, and Qiskit Runtime. We saved and loaded our Qiskit Runtime service credentials, and we created a quantum circuit and ran our first runtime program. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, we'll investigate circuits with runtime. See you then.